Hey YouTube, I'm making a video today about <laughs> the worst video game that I have, I, I, I don't even know how this is a video game. I made a few other videos about Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2. Mario is just stupid anyways, you know, nobody likes Mario. But I'm making this video today about this other game that I just found that apparently came out between Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2. Apparently it's like, like one of those like uh, 1.5 games, you know? that takes place in between the two, like, something stupid like that, something that, no one cares about continuity anyways. That's one thing that's terrible with Mario. The games are all the same story. There's no continuity or whatever. I played Mario Galaxy 2, and it's like a prequel and a sequel, like, just, it's stupid. It doesn't make sense. But anyways, I already talked about Mario Galaxy. We all know that it's a terrible game. It's terrible. I played Mario Galaxy 2. We all know that it's even worth, like, stupid, stupid Yashi. No one cares about Yashi. The game that I'm going to talk about, and they even put it in like a different color case to make it, to try to make it appeal to little kids, because that's all, who, you know, that's all the game's about. It's New Super Mario Brothers Y, or Wii, sorry. New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Up to four players. Now, first off, you just got to look at this case. It's all shiny and stuff. It's a, it's a kid's toy. It's obviously a kid's toy. They, I mean, they make it. Look, look at this guy. It's a, bo a little, little boy. Like little, little kids playing this thing. And there's like different colored Yashis on the cover. Like, that's ridiculous. I mean, okay, I don't know what they were trying to do with this game, but it's like backwards. It's even worse than Mario Galaxy and Mario Galaxy 2. For some reason, they decided instead of the 3D technology, which sucks anyways in those games, they thought they'd do it like 2D. Like, okay, we're not in 1990 anymore, we're in 2000, well, this game came out in 2010, I think. Yeah, 2009, okay, sorry. You know, so we're, it's like twenty-year-old technology they use to make this stupid game, and they expect people to buy buy for fifty dollars, fifty dollars for this stupid game. I mean, okay. Here's another thing: you you only use like the one controller. You don't even use the other th controller. It's like what? It's like a joke. You this should be a game that you could buy for five dollars at Funko Land. All right. No, I mean, no one even goes to Funko Land anymore. So. It's all something else, anyways, you know. So new, and and they and they have the nerve to call it new, like like this is a new game. No, no, this is just Super Mario Brothers on the Wii, and and then it's you know it should be called just Super Mario Brothers, rip you and ripping you off for fifty dollars because it's the same exact thing, the same exact game that they made twenty five years ago, you know. New power ups, not really. These power ups are in the Mario Galaxy. Uh, so here's just another reason why Nintendo tries to rip you off. So if you feel like being ripped off, then uh, go buy anything by Nintendo because Mario is the stupidest thing ever. And anyone that supports Mario or like you know goes around saying how cool it is, they're all wrong. They're all, and Nintendo's, you know, that's it's just ridiculous. So that's all. I'm gonna stop this video now, but just know. Yeah. <laughs>